Virgos, welcome back to the channel with me, Tony. I got another tarot card reading for you today. We're getting creative using the Light Sears tarot deck today. Pull in some creative energies. Let's see what's currently surrounding you, what's coming towards you, what the divine has to say. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the, uh, to the channel. Allow the message to spread. What messages do we have for Virgo today? What details does the Virgo need to know today? I'm getting this is becoming quite therapeutic for you, Virgo. <laughs> I like to hear it. I like to hear it. We have jumpers. Grounding you today, Virgo. We have... Ooh, still in the month of February, all these love messages are coming in. So third party. This could be cheating. This could be a lack of attention as well. Yeah, someone's spreading their love around. Ooh, woo. So I'm assuming the devil card would have been the first card to come out. This is toxicity. This is karmics. Uh, sex, drugs, and alcohol, I always say. Karmic connections. Um, people that, had, that, <laughs> that have no business uh, connecting with each other. An influencer. This could be peer pressure. This could be bullying as well. Capricorn Major Arcana. Messing with someone's stability here. And the next card that would have come out would have been the smooth talker, the player, the knight of cups. Someone that comes in with a romantic offer. Could be a poet, could be an artist, some type of singer or dancer. Mm. Could be a poet of some sorts. I'm getting like poetry night at uh, a bar or something like that as well. Hmm. Someone coming in here with drinks. Yeah, definitely a bar. You see the wine here. Someone wants to take you out on a romantic date, but this could be perceived as a uh, a toxic individual here with the devil card. They come off lighthearted. Uh, it could be something very obsessive about them here. Maybe they could be obsessed with, obsessed with you because we had the next card that would have come out would have been the two of cups. So definitely a romantic situation here. You're feeling this connection. Just don't let it be karmic or toxic. We don't need relationships starting off with sex. And that's the only thing that holds a relationship together. We don't need the relationship starting off with drinks. And that's the only thing you guys associate with the start of your relationship is going out partying or drinking with each other all the time. But we do have a love connection. This could also be some type of interracial relationship or couple as well. But we have love coming towards you. Or this could, this could be you seeking out love. What was grounding this reading? Mm, three of Swords. This is toxicity. Page of Swords. Yeah, you're going to need some type of balance. Equal give and take. You could be even giving advice. Make sure you're not getting the wrong advice. All advice is not good advice. You know, seeking advice from... Uh, you're wanting to be in a relationship, but you're seeking advice from people that have toxic relationship themselves or don't even have a relationship. Again, we need to seek out therapists or we need to seek out experts, second opinions here. Try reading here. Hmm? Pick up a book on relationships. Or don't we walk around with cell phones? Hmm? All right. Uh, what else do we have? Eight of Cups. Mm, I'm going to end up walking away from this situation here. Someone's going to end up sprung as well here. I'm getting the sex is too good that you have to walk away. <laughs> People always do that. Things things that seem too good to be true. Again, when a nice guy comes your way, a woman or whatever, it can go in any direction. Someone always has to figure some type of way to make the situation turn bad or sour or you're too good to be true. I can't believe you actually like me. So I'm going to cause a cause a situation to go sour. We just got together. We've only been dating for two weeks or maybe a month, but I'm going to complain about the lack of attention that I'm getting for you or the fact that you may have other suitors out there. I mean, someone that's attractive obviously has several suitors. This is a vetting process. This is courting here. This is known as the courtier. They know what to say here. Queen of Swords. Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Uh... 
This could be investing financially into a relationship, like buying someone a Birkin bag or something like that, or giving someone a gift. Typically, this would be known as the cheapskate car or someone being very frugal with their finances. But what I'm actually getting here with all the rest of these cards is someone's trying to vie for your attention with gifts. Comes out right underneath the devil. You know the devil gives you whatever you want, right? Look at him. Look at the devil. So attractive. What else do we have? Temperance here. Okay, so the temperance comes out. That erases all the negative and toxic energy here. So a romantic individual that's coming out, coming towards you to balance your situation here. If you've been seeking out love and romance, they come to give you love and romance or even some type of advice. If you're looking for a second opinion, could be dealing with a relationship guru as well. We have the wheel of fortune here. Luck is, uh, Lady Luck is headed towards you here. A change of fates. The magician three major arcana coming out back to back yeah you're manifesting love here or someone's manifesting an opportunity uh for you here they're trying to change their fate or they're trying to change your fate here there is no fate but the fate we make uh terminator 2 judgment day four of wands yeah we have a twin flame here or a relationship coming towards you here. Someone's wanting to seek out a, yeah, someone's definitely wanting to seek out a, uh, a romantic relationship here with you. Four of Pentacles and Four of Wands. They're wanting to actually invest more uh, into the situation is what I'm getting, but it's too early on here. Not sure how long this uh, relationship was. I mean, this could be speed dating as well. Again, someone with a lot of options here. If they're uh, taking on devilish energy or the devil here, um, they may be very attractive and very appealing to different uh, prospects here. Again, Eight of Cups. They come in and out of a situation. Uh, they're very picky and choosy about the love connections or this could be you. But Major Arcanas, man, we got the devil, which would be toxicity. But this is earthly knowledge and know-how. This is, again... Um, earthly activity, man. There's nothing to be afraid of. We have temperance here. So there is a therapist involved here. Or someone is trying to balance out the negative energies that they have. And then we have the magician manifesting luck here. So this is manifesting marriage. Manifesting a, uh, a partnership of equal give and take. Some sort of long-lasting relationship here with the four of wands. Could be dealing with an air sign. Uh, could be dealing with the Sagittarius, Capricorn, a an Aries, uh, Gemini. So that's what I have for you today's Virgo. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel. Catch you on the next one. Peace.